Hello and welcome to another out of spec motoring video. In this video, we are taking a Tesla Model Y performance from here in Colorado all the way to North Carolina. We're gonna leave the Model 3 here. We are also going to be catching up with my friend Dave in a Mustang Mach-E, the blue one that we've been driving. Uh, this is also his Model Y. We gotta get both cars to North Carolina. So this guy's shredding by on a scooter over here. <laughs> We're gonna go jump in the Model Y performance and head to North Carolina from here in Colorado. This is EV Dave's Model Y as mentioned, and it's rolling on 20 inch Martian wheels. They look great. You guys know we love Martian wheels. We say that every time I have them on my car too. Uh, Drew, the owner is a good friend of ours. So what do we have here? We have a 2020 Tesla Model Y performance. Uh, this is an early car, but it has, uh, I don't know, almost 30,000 miles on it by now. I think Dave takes it all around the country all the time, just as we do. So. Take a look at his YouTube channel for tons of EV adventures and trips and tricks. And what am I trying to say? I don't know. Let's take a look at our route plan. So it is currently 821 in the morning. This looks to be our plan. Lyman seems to be our first stop, which is awesome. About 1600 miles to get there to Western North Carolina. After this trip, I'm then gonna jump on a plane, fly to Phoenix, Arizona, and then go on a road trip in some Volkswagen ID.4s to LA all around here. So it's gonna be a busy week. That will be in another video. The Mustang Mach-E road trips that I took are gonna be in another video. Dave left about an hour ago. Uh, we figured it would probably take the Mustang a little bit longer to get to our stop today. We're not sure where we're gonna end up, if we can stretch it to Kansas City. We're in no rush. We have almost all week to get home to North Carolina. So let's say three, four days of driving. We're just gonna see which is faster, the Model Y or the Mach-E. But for now, let's head to Lyman, Colorado. Let's take a look at some stats too. We have, tw oh, 22,000 miles on this thing. Again, Model Y performance, ready to rock and roll. Welcome to Lyman, Colorado. We are getting the Y plugged in here. If the charge port will open, there we go. We are at the Arby's. Crazy windy out here, huge side winds on the road. I'll explain in the car because you probably can't hear me. We had the car preconditioning on the way over here to warm up the battery pack. Again, uh, kind of cold outside, 42 degrees. Looks like it's uh, preconditioned pretty well. 134 kilowatts, not great, not terrible. This is a 150 kilowatt version two supercharger. And uh, one other car here, a Model 3, but they are on 1A and we are on 3A. So all is good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna run in and get some Arby's. Before I run inside, gotta say, the Y is just an awesome road tripper. This thing cruises down the road at 85 plus, no problem. Full self-driving on this car is really nice for the lane changes. You know, I've owned Teslas with uh, actually both of my previous Teslas had lane changes and I absolutely love it. And the fact that it's $10,000 to get that functionality or in some markets you can get enhanced autopilot for five grand, that's really the only thing you need. It's not worth spending the money, but it's really nice. <laughs> so definitely enjoying my time here in Dave's Model Y. We got the thing full of luggage in the back, um, ready for lots of adventures to come. It's just charging up here at 135 kilowatts. Let's take a look at our next stop and then I'm gonna prepare myself for some food. Dave is charging the Mach-E only about 20 miles down the road from here. I think he pulled in at quite low state of charge. So it looks like it wants to go to Colby, Kansas next. I believe we're gonna be skipping some chargers in between. Yes, we're gonna be skipping Goodland. That's a good backup, uh, but Colby's a good stop. Actually, one of the best ones, I think. So let's cancel this out. Let's hit continue trip and let's see how many miles exactly it is. So 144 miles, we have a huge wind out of the north heading south. So big side wind, pushing all the trucks off, pushing us around. Uh, we're talking 20, 30 plus mile an hour side wind here. So um, what we'll do is we'll charge up enough to get to Colby. If for whatever reason we need a backup, well, great. We can always stop in Goodland for, for five or 10 minutes and as a backup. Well, I uh, went into this little convenience store to use the restroom. Arby's is closed. They have like a drive through thing, but that doesn't work because we're charging. Uh, so I guess we'll figure out food later on. I am getting hungry though. Uh, charging up at 127 kilowatts. I just had to move stalls one over because someone plugged in on 3B. And I like was walking back when he did. I'm like, oh, you'll get faster speeds if you're on two since I'm on three and this guy's on one. 
and he just was like oh yeah yeah great and then just like went back in his car i'm like all right what, whatever so i just moved the y over we were at 72 kilowatts for some reason it split it forced split us rather than just giving him our leftovers so that was pretty interesting so it forced split us and i moved over and our estimated time to completion went from uh 15 minutes to five minutes so that definitely saved us some time there you know that's the problem with these version two superchargers you constantly have to like maneuver everyone around so that you get the fastest charging uh and collectively of course and uh yep just ramping down here 121 kilowatts at 48 percent. this thing charges way better than my model 3 long range pack i wonder why that's the case my car does about 105 kilowatts at 50 percent. we're here up at 120 at 48 49 that's interesting could just be that my cars had a ton of supercharging 80,000 miles of just probably more than 50 percent dc fast charging so uh yeah, heading over uh, on the road after this. We'll jump up, charge up until, let's say, we get to uh, 65 70%, something like that, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Well, we are charged up for a 15% arrival in Colby. I overcharged a little bit up to 78%. Still doing pretty good speeds, but definitely time to go. Let's uh, unplug and get out of here and head to Colby, Kansas. Maybe we'll intercept Dave along the way. Just cruising along here, about to cross into Kansas. Man, is it flat outside and crazy windy. I mean, like just woo, woo, woo. <laughs> the trucks are like getting up on two wheels, getting up on one side, looking pretty nice. So uh, Dave is just ahead. I'm going nine miles an hour faster than him. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to catch him before Colby. The car is saying stay below 80 miles an hour to reach our destination. I'm doing 84. We're totally fine, especially as once I catch up to Dave, then I can slow down and draft behind the Mustang. But uh, yeah, should be should be an easy ride in, just sitting here on autopilot. No one's really on the road and uh, enjoying the beautiful scenery. You know, everyone says the middle of the country is boring. And while it is boring and not as interesting as going west from our house, I still like it. I think it's kind of neat. We have just crossed over into Kansas and we have our first sighting of Dave all the way up there. He's that lone car in the right hand lane. It's a bright blue car, easy to see. He's going past that sign. So there we go. I left one hour, actually more than one hour later than Dave in the Model Y and we have caught up to him in very short order. So it just shows you how much quicker of a road tripper the Tesla is. Now granted, Dave probably is not maximizing the Mach-E yet, but uh, he'll get there. And there is Dave, looking good in the Mustang, gotta say, and rocking the out of spec plate. So definitely appreciate it. So we can choose to slow it down and stretch it to Colby, or I guess that's probably what we should do. Or we could get off here in Goodland. You can see it says charging needed, but I've been driving quickly. 22% to go 46 miles means just over 200 miles on a charge. At 74 miles an hour behind the Mustang, I think we can do it. So let's just keep it going. So I've made the decision to press on. We have a 1% arrival to stay below 75. Well, Dave's driving just about 75. So cruising along with that great view of the Mustang in front. Gotta say, I do like that Grabber Blue quite a bit. That is a good looking color and uh, just just having a good time. I'm in autopilot jail though. I was, my hands are on the wheel too. I just wasn't putting enough weight into it, wasn't paying attention. And then it locked me out of autopilot. So I'll have to do a, uh, a recycle of the car. As soon as I get out, get back in, it'll let me back on autopilot. But that was not from me not paying attention. I just didn't have uh, enough weight on the wheel, I guess. Well, I honestly can't tell you why the car is freaking out so much about our arrival, but I just dropped the speed way down. Uh, you know, everything's looking like we're gonna make it there totally fine. 9% to go 20 miles, should be no problem. Take a look here, it shows still minus 1%, but look, 24 miles projected here, which is uh, totally fine and only 19 miles to the exit. So unless it's like way uphill, which I'm not expecting it to be, we should be able to make this no problem. Leave it to me to try to catch up to Dave and then I have to slow down. You know, typical Kyle things here. Uh, we have a 1% arrival, so we're gonna make it no problem. And it's downhill on the way in. So, so really no issues here. Just being a little bit conservative right now. We have arrived with plenty of buffer, 1%. It's 
crazy windy out here. I can't get out of the door. Holy smokes. This is like a tropical storm of some kind. Holy shnikes. This is barely <laughs> Crazy, crazy wind. Man, it feels like you're driving at like 50 miles an hour or stick your head out of convertible roof. That's crazy. So let's just make sure this thing's charging. And then we have all of the good food right in here. This is one of my favorite supercharging stops. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll know the dogs always like to run around in that park and we always get food in here at Colby, Kansas. So let's charge up. We're at 1% and Dave's just across the street charging up the Mustang at the Electrify America station. So just ran in, got some snacks and some lunch. We're charged up so far to 58%. Let's take a look as to what the rest of the trip looks like says Hayes is going to be the next stop. With this much side wind, I think we'll charge up a little extra. <laughs> so yeah, we'll probably charge up, I don't know, another five, 10 minutes, something like that. We're all charged up to 76% state of charge. We're going to run over to Walmart and uh, check on Dave, see how the charging's going with the Mustang so far. We are now just pulling into Walmart and I think I saw the back end of the Mustang over here. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Look at that, good timing. So uh, just got off the phone with Dave. He said he only needs a couple more percent to go. And uh, yeah, we'll just pull up alongside. Why not? Looks like he just hit 80% state of charge according to the screen, which means it's time to load up and head out. There he is. Yeah, so the Mustang has a really weird charging curve, you know, below 80%, but once you hit 80%, it falls to 12 kilowatts. Or in the case here, 14, just probably because you have uh, air conditioning going or something. But uh, yeah. how, how's it going in the car so far? Great. Good. It's, uh, it's, I'm learning that uh, the uh, GOM, the Gessel meter, is actually predicting diesel. Oh, nice. So um, this last run I did uh, 75. I was two under the first run. So this one with the wind, I don't think it calculates the wind at all. Nope. So we're going to run it at uh, speed uh, 75 miles an hour and I'll uh, see how it goes. Awesome. Well, enjoy it. And, uh, oh, it's really crazy windy. <laughs> so it looks like well, we just booked some hotels in Salina, Kansas, and uh, Dave is unplugged and ready to go. He likes to run at the speed limit. I go a little bit quicker, so perhaps we'll see him at the hotel later on. We'll see how the day goes, but uh, no charging issues for the Mustang at all. Like I experienced on my LA trip. Again, I don't know if this video is gonna go live before that. The plug-in charge feature is what caused all of our problems. When you don't use plug-in charge, the Mustang charges marvelously. So let's jump on the road. Uh, let's figure out how to get on the road. I don't know, maybe we were supposed to turn the other way there. Not sure. Uh, we gotta go behind us the other direction. But uh, yeah, let's jump on the road and head to Hayes, Kansas. Only 106 miles, no problem. Welcome to Hayes, Kansas. We have been here many, many times on trips. Let's get this thing plugged in. Not as windy as it was back in uh, the previous stop, but still pretty busy. Now the Electrify America station's just over there. I imagine that's where Dave's going. So I'm gonna take a walk over there and see if, uh, see if we see him. Here comes Dave rolling up into Walmart right there. And I'm walking over to meet him at the Chargers. Man, it's so windy. <laughs> Well, we're in the Mustang checking out how Dave is enjoying it on the road trip. And uh, we're doing a little calculation to see if we're charged up enough. We're currently at 66% pulling 95 kilowatts, yep. 67. There's no way in the Mustang to see, of course, but it's great to get these EA stations right next to the driver window because then you can just look right over. That's really not a huge deal. You can see the Mustang thinks we have a 22% predicted arrival, but this is not factoring in the crazy wind that we're having. However, the 153 miles of projected range is based off of Dave's driving history, so it should be fairly consistent. Yep, five over, that's what I've been testing it at. 
Nice. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, it looks really good going down the road. I like your grabber blue choice of color. Uh, it's excellent. Yep, Thank for you. sure. All right. So uh, once we're done charging the Mustang, Dave is going to bring me over to the Y and we'll jump in there. Then our next stop, I think, is uh, the Salina Hotel at the Supercharger. Correct. That'll be nice. Get some sleep. You can see just down the road from where we were, the superchargers the over here at the Applebee's. And uh, that black Model 3 that we've been running with since uh, Colorado has just rolled up. Is that the new plate guy? That's the new plate guy, yep. Turn left on Drive. They must have gone in for dinner or something because they're not in the car. Cool. Please All right. drive to highlighted route. Thanks for the ride, Dave. All right, buddy. Please I'll see you there. See you there. Okay. And we are all charged up to over 80% state of charge. Let's unplug. Oh, I gotta unlock it. I don't, uh, here we go, hold on. Here we go, unplug. Dave just added it to my app, really nice of it. Here we go, unlocked. There goes the Mustang. And we're jumping in the Y. Charged up to 83%. have arrived to our hotel around 36% state of charge. I'm going to top it up to 50, 60% or so, wake up early and then come down and full charge it here in the morning. What that's going to do is heat up the battery pack. It's going to take a little while so because it's going to get cold tonight. So I'll come down, plug it in, take a shower, do my things. Dave's parking over here, not blocking a supercharger. kind of looks like it, but this is the last supercharger spot because again, the ports are on the uh, driver's side. Uh, but yeah, kind of funny to park the Mustang there. That's for sure. Now I'll check into our hotel and uh, just got a message on the Ford app saying charge fault. Not sure what that's all about. And uh, yep, just charging up here at the Casey's. So let's see, it says it's still trying to connect and uh, the app says it's faulting out. Let's see what the car says over here. This would be the first issue on the trip and we have a red dial. So the handshake did not work here and it shows a, uh, a service vehicle soon. Full accessory power active. That's normal. Service vehicle soon indication. Not sure, pretty interesting. First bug on this trip with the Mustang Mach-E. And now we just plugged into this unit over here. Number two seems to have started up just fine. My guess is that the connection just wasn't seated all the way in. It should really give you some sort of diagnostics to say, hey, connection is a little bit loose, but uh, looks like we're charging up just fine. Good morning, it is now the next day, still really windy. As you can see, the Mustang is still not blocking a supercharger, although it kind of looks like it. We have the last one here in the Model Y. Uh, this morning I woke up, let's say an hour ago, it's about 7.45 in the morning. Uh, brought the Model Y over here, plugged it in. I charged it up to about 55, 60% last night. We are currently at 97%. I knew I was gonna take a little while this morning. I had to edit a video for our Out of Spec Reviews channel. So before I did that, I came down uh, plug this into the supercharger knowing it was going to charge really slow and it did like 35 kilowatt peak just because it sat overnight and got cold and this wind really cools down the battery pack. So uh, what we're able to have now is a fully charged Model Y with uh, again 97, 98% by the time we leave. It's uh, going to be nice and toasty as well. So we're going to have good efficiency. It's not going to be trying to warm up the pack. It's just going to make the day easier. And it's already preconditioned, warmed, and the heated seat is on. So as we do with every day, let's go over to Starbucks, get our drink, get the strawberry acai refresher. And uh, I'll meet Dave over at the McDonald's parking lot, I think is the plan. So unplugging here. That was one of the longest supercharging sessions. Whoops. I still haven't set up my phone as a key. I finally put the car in my app. Oh wait, that's my Starbucks card. <laughs> it's still early in the morning and you can see sentry mode is uh, freaking out here. There we go. Now we're unlocked and now it will allow us, oh, it just started charging again. Now it will allow us to drive. So. Let's head over to Starbucks. Well, bad news folks went over here to the Petro stop and they have a Starbucks inside and 
they were out of strawberry acai, which is kind of a bummer. So we'll find another solution. Uh, for the meantime, got uh, some extra smart waters, and so we'll be hydrated at least. Let's rock and roll. See if we can find Dave somewhere around here. Let's see, we're in the middle of Kansas. I think Dave should be over at that McDonald's. So let's head over there. Here we are pulling into McDonald's and there's the nice Mustang Mach-E. So just gonna follow Dave around. Let me get my walkie talkie on. We uh, have these pretty neat things. There we go. And so now let me tell him I'm on. Hey Dave, I got my uh, walkie on now. Okay. Looks like he's eating some, some breakfast over there. This is going off everywhere here. So yeah, should be a good day. Looking forward to it. 97% state of charge. We charged the Mustang up to 80% last night. And uh, so that is going to be sort of the uh, weakest link on this trip today, which is to be expected. You know, that car just doesn't charge as fast for as long as the Mustang does. Um, so that's why it just takes a little while longer. But it's honestly not that bad on efficiency is it it was getting 412 420 watt hour per mile yesterday and this was doing roughly a little bit more I'm trying to think yeah 300s or so for this whole trip but uh yeah i would say it's definitely less efficient than this car on the martian wheels that's for sure Welcome to the Topeka Supercharger here at the Arby's. Not my favorite location, a little sketchy, but no one seems to be here today, which is good. Uh, let's rock and roll, get this thing charging. Now we don't actually have to charge here. What's going on is Dave is uh, charging up the Mustang just over there at the Sam's Club, I believe. Could be a Walmart, I don't know, either way, very close by. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go uh, charge up here, get some extra juice. May as well while he's charging up the Mustang. And I could put it on the chat mode Electrify America, but it's free here at the Supercharger, so we'll just charge up here. Just got the call from Dave that he's ready to go, so let's get this thing unplugged, shall we? Here we go. Boom! And uh, let's see, really poor charging session. Um, yeah, not, not totally sure why. It could just be an old supercharger or something. But uh, yeah, we, we only got uh, up to 70%. Took a little while too, at least 15 minutes. But uh, no problem. We got the juice and uh, just, just relaxing on this trip. So we're pulling in over here at uh, Walmart Sam's Club. Let's see where the chargers are. And here we go. They were on the other side. There's Dave all ready to rock and roll. There's the EA station. Oh, that's a great install. Perfect for uh, trailers. So you can pull right up alongside. Love that. Great. Well, uh, let's take a look at the Mustang, see how things are going over in here and uh, see how he's doing. <laughs> are we doing a little YouTubing back and forth? Uh, we are doing a little YouTubing back and <laughs> forth. That's correct. And how's your time in the Mustang today? It's been great. Uh, if uh, it uh, was all like this, Awesome. Yeah, so far so great. And honestly, no real charging issues with this car. Yep. I think yesterday the only issue we had was because the connector wasn't seated in all the way. Right. And um, yeah, it must all be plug and charge because this thing's been road tripping like a monster. I agree. If you go through that gyration with the app and do all that stuff, it seems to work fine. Totally agree. Well, it looks good going down the road. Uh, do you want me to lead this stretch? Once you lead this stretch, we'll switch off maybe halfway or something. Yep, that sounds good, doing a little efficiency and comparison. Then, uh, we'll take uh, Interstate 70, I think it puts us right through downtown. Okay, yep. And, and uh, I'll just follow you there, and uh, my, it's forgotten independence, uh, what you call it, so I may have to do it by hand. Sure, yeah, well we'll figure that out once we get on the road. Sounds good, see All right, there. see ya. You join us here in Independence, Missouri, and uh, sorry, I was just on a conference call for the future of AMG, which is super interesting. Uh, lots of cool electrification stuff coming. Uh, check out Out of Spec Reviews for the full story. Anyway, nice Model X with a camper rolled up. I said, you know, I was parked in the middle. I said, oh, wait, don't disconnect. I'll just move over. So I moved to the end spot, and then they were able to just pull the Model X in. And of course, there's still another space open, so I'm going to leave here soon. We're at 82% state of charge. Uh, easy drive over on the... Uh, Kansas Turnpike here. We're just on the other side of Kansas City here in Missouri at the Bass Pro Shops. Again, charged up to 82%. I'm sure we're good to go. I think Dave's just on the other side of the parking lot at the EA station. So let's run over there, check on him, see how the Mustang's doing, and then we'll get on the road. So here we are, charged up to 82% here in the Model Y. Let's get this thing unplugged. 
and off we go. You can see a really awesome uh, trailer combination over here. Looks really neat. So it turns out Dave was actually just ahead. He's close by because I can hear him on the radio there. So let's lock this thing in autopilot. Let's uh, see if we can see him coming on. He said he was just coming on this clover relief uh, entrance right through here. And uh, so I have a feeling he is just ahead of us. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, see him coming up or something. Yeah, so my guess is he's he just merged up and he's probably in the uh, valley here. But uh, yeah, great timing. He, I, you know, I was on my way over to him. I gave him a call because the presentation ended. He said, oh, I'm just uh, about to leave the station and it was perfect, perfect timing. Actually, I see him up ahead. He's holding up that line right there. So that is uh, <laughs> perfect timing, actually. Really amazing. We have two and a half miles to our exit destination, but take a look at this. I found another Mustang Mach-E. Very interesting. Uh, Dave, of course, is at the Electrify America station charging up uh, behind us. They were not in sync this time, but uh, see a nice black Mach-E right here. Gotta say, it looks really good in black. Uh, that might be the color because you don't get that goofy, weird roof line. I mean, I guess it looks pretty good, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's on uh, dealer tag or something like this. Nice. Welcome to somewhere in Missouri. We have the Model Y here, the Maki that we saw on the highway pulled in and uh, you know, of course, not able to charge at a supercharger. I guess he didn't know that. He works at the dealer or owns the dealer and he's just testing it out. So he's going to the supercharger or I should say the Electrify America charger where Dave is in the Mustang about 40 miles west of here. He has about 50% state of charge, so he'll be able to make it just fine. But these are the things the Mustang needs to show you chargers because he's like, yeah, the car doesn't show us anything. Like I know it's so bad. It does its job, but it's not great. Model Y handling great, looking good and just enjoying the drive here. Well, we're just kind of hanging out here, killing some time while Dave charges up the Mustang. It, uh, apparently he didn't have a great charging session. I told him to move stalls and it's going a little bit quicker. We are here at 93%. Uh, yeah, not sure what to do. Maybe we'll go get some food at uh, Jimmy John's here across the street. He's got another close to hour to get to us and then he's got a charge. So yeah, the Tesla is just a much faster road tripper as we've seen but that's okay uh now the car wants us to go all the way down here to uh let's see mount vernon but we can charge in st louis so uh yeah no no need to like stretch it all the way up to 100 percent. let's just stop charging here no need to kill the car with charging up at 93 percent state of charge it's not great to dc fast charge cars up at high states of charge so we'll save the model y a little a little wear and tear at least let's go get a sandwich at jimmy john's folks Ooh, awesome lunch really good but you know what Com with these clouds and missing starbucks this morning because they were out of the drink i'm starting to get a pretty bad headache so um let's run over to starbucks folks it's 2.7 miles in the other direction but it's so weird i'm on a road trip but uh since dave is the weak link here in terms of speed and the mach e I'm just like killing time cruising around in the Model Y. I mean, uh, we're going to the same destination tonight, so there's no reason for me to like speed up and then get there. I may as well just hang out with him. That way also, if one of us has an issue or a flat tire or you know anything, just in case, um, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be protected here. So, uh, or at least have some backup. So let's go over to Starbucks and explore Columbia, Missouri. Hmm. I feel like I'm EV Dave in the Model Y, filming in the right spot. This is what uh, Dave's channel you see a lot of. This exact side of the screen, this exact bit of the wheel, in this exact car. There we go. Nice old wagon. That thing's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty cool town. Not bad. Some uh, nice homes in here and uh, yeah, just nice little, little single lane roads. Uh-oh. says for lease, but I think it must be on the front side of the building because people are in line for Starbucks. I think we're good. Hell yeah. Well, bad news, folks. Every Starbucks pretty much since Kansas has been out of strawberry acai. This is truly a pandemic that is not being reported on in the news enough. This is the real problem, folks. No strawberry acais. And the U-turn lanes down here are like a mile away from where I pulled out. This thing's beeping. 
yeah, not going so well. I thought we were gonna bump up this trip, get some strawberry acai. We're in Columbia, Missouri. Seems like a nice enough place. This guy's smoking some barbecue. Love it, but unfortunately not. Oh well, we'll try again, I guess, down the road. Continuing the weirdness of the stop, apparently Dave, you know, made it right past while I was sitting in the Starbucks line. He, he went on by and he said, oh, the highway's closed. So I said, well, I'm gonna go on some back roads then. So I've just exited the highway and uh, he said they may have just started moving, but he wasn't sure. I said, well, I'm just gonna take a look at some scenery on the way through uh, Missouri, take some back roads around, take a look at uh, Columbia. And uh, yeah, really cool, nice golf course here on the left. Not, uh, not too bad of a little town. So taking some back roads and then we'll jump on the highway in six miles and straight shot over to St. Louis. We're cruising on some dirt roads and something most people don't know about autopilot is that it'll actually do its best uh, when you transfer from pavement to dirt to get you down the dirt road. It's actually kind of neat. It won't let you activate it when you're already on here, but it will do its best to try and uh, keep it going. Yeah, the highway was closed, so we're taking some back roads through Missouri here in the Model Y, and I gotta say, doing a great job of just, uh, I mean, it looks all janky yanky here on the screen, but driving fine, love it. We have arrived at the Electrify America station. Ah, Dave, I'm done. there's a very much of an underreported pandemic going on here. Yes, it is here. And so I've stopped at now every Starbucks from Colby, Kansas to St. Charles, Missouri. And what are they missing? They do not have strawberry acai refresher. Well, I'm not sure whoever drinks that stuff. <laughs> yeah, really weird people. I yeah, they really drink yeah. like black coffee or something like that. Must be people in Colorado. I'm know. thinking that's the case. And there's another underreported pandemic, which yeah. is you've chosen the spot with the Chatamo, which is what I need well, to charge. Well, you know what? It just so happens I have enough energy to get to Mount Vernon, and I am down the road. If that's the case, I'm just going to top up real quick at the supercharger, and yeah. then I'll see you at Mount Vernon. God. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, the car's looking good. You, you feeling all right? Oh, yeah. I'm finally getting there. I bought some Red Bull. Yeah, so Dave's charged up the Mach-E, of course, and I was going to go to the supercharger, but take a look at this. We have 51% to go 97 miles, 6% arrival. Should be fine. I'm just going to stick it on autopilot at one behind Dave, and he'll push all the air out of the way. So let's rock and roll. Welcome to the Double Tree here in Illinois. We have an interesting site. We have a Tesla Model S here. Uh, looks really good. Performance AP1. Not plugged in though. I've plugged in the Model Y over here, of course, and that is charging up just fine. And then we have actually it's doing 148 kilowatts, maxing it out, nice and 73 degrees here. And then we have another Tesla here, parked but not plugged in. So two Model S's, uh, EV. What do we call this? Icing chargers. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you park here, block usable spaces when there's a giant ass parking lot right there? Come on, people, that is ridiculous. We are charged up to 71%, enough to get to Katawa. That's, I guess, or Katawa, I think it's Katawa. Uh, Dave just left the charger over here. I actually saw him on the way in, which was really funny. I need to stop off and get some headache medicine because my migraine is getting really bad they didn't have anything in there. So let's go find some headache medicine. Dave's already on his way. And uh, I took my sweet time, of course. And uh, yep, heading over to Kudawa. Let's go Bjorn style over to Circle K. Oh yes, folks, we got the hot dog. We got the Excedrin all at the Circle K. We're rocking Bjorn style right down the street from the supercharger. Let's head on the highway and head over to Kudawa. Should arrive with 14%, only 128 miles. You join us here in Cudawa, Kentucky, charging up the Model Y at the 150 kilowatt supercharger. John and Kathy over there, super nice, and uh, they're road tripping their new Model S, asking quite a few questions about uh, third-party chargers. They were asking about the Mach-E. They checked out Dave's Model Y, of course. Really, really nice. And uh, that's one of the best parts about EVs. You really get to meet a lot of people. Look, some people don't want to meet people, and therefore you don't have to talk to anyone, but. I certainly, uh, you know, they came up and they were asking about the wheels on the Y, the Martian wheels and super, super nice. So there's a little bit of food here, but we've been talking for maybe 20, 30 minutes. I think the Y is already starting to taper a little bit. Let's take a look because I'm not sure, but you can tell the Tesla T is not blinking as fast as when we first got here. And that means that it's starting to slow down the charge. Yeah, 73% says we have enough to continue on the trip. 
I think the next stop might be Nashville, heading to Dave's daughter's house and uh, gonna have some pizza and some good stuff there. That's where we'll crash for the night. They have two wall connectors for us to charge on. Dave has a Tesla to J1772 adapter for the Mustang that I suggested that he buy and he did. So we are ready to head to Nashville, Tennessee, one of my favorite cities. Good morning from Nashville, Tennessee. We slept at uh, Dave's daughter's house. We have the Mustang all charged up. We have the uh, Model Y charged up to 90%. You see the way the superchargers are spaced, it doesn't make sense to full charge this car. We gotta stop at superchargers anyway. Also, I have some conferences to jump onto, so I'm just gonna hit those while I'm at the chargers and probably way overcharge. But we're gonna take a real relaxed trip, just you know, 300 miles over to Dave's house where we're gonna drop the cars. Uh, so it should be a pretty relaxed day, but it wouldn't be an out of spec road trip without some rain folks. So let's go to Starbucks this morning here in, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. We're in East Nashville and, uh, go, uh, get some drinks to start this day. Shall we? There it is. The beautiful Starbucks and a line to suit, but Hey, I think it's worth it. So let's, uh, we got nothing to do today except road trip. Dave's on his own schedule. I'm leaving before him a little bit in the Mach-E, like I mentioned. So, uh, dang, look at this line all the way out to here. But, uh, yeah, I think I think we can do it. Turn the wheel, caddy. There we go. <laughs> nice. Well, I've stopped off here at a La Quinta Inn for no other reason than I needed to go on this presentation. And I just found some level twos right off of the highway right over there. I said, well, hey, may as well get some juice while we're here. So charging up on the Blink chargers. Man, was that a pain in the ass to set up the uh, Blink app, put in my credit card details, the whole bit. Just a giant mess, honestly. So now let me jump on this presentation. Should take about an hour. We'll probably be charged up to 80 something percent. And by that point, we will make it to uh, Knoxville charger with uh, no problem i think and worst case we can always stop in cookville which is kind of off the highway and inconvenient so this works great if we can get enough juice to get us to knoxville yeah especially with all this rain that'd be awesome one hour later we're charged up to 83 percent we've added six kilowatt hours to the battery pack uh, a lot of that uh, we probably would have gotten more however uh, I was running the air conditioning the whole time. It's actually kind of warm out, 65 degrees. The rain has stopped, the sun is coming out. There's like accidents on the highway. Take a look, just huge traffic over here. And um, yeah, I say let's unplug and head to Dave's house now that I finished up that presentation on the design strategy of the Mercedes EQS. Yeah, just a little, little boring, gotta say. Welcome to a pretty full Knoxville supercharger. We are going to charge pretty slow here uh, because we're sharing with someone and I peeked over at their screen and they were at like 20%. So we can always move around. Actually, not too bad for 50 plus kilowatts. Hey, can't complain. Uh, so all is good. We're doing 66 kilowatts. Great. Um, yeah, going to eat some Bojangles. It came all the way from Colorado to get some Bojangles. And uh, then we're going to rock and roll off to Dave's house. So we need a pretty deep charge here. Getting some really good speeds here, 140 kilowatts. Just ran over to the Starbucks and used the restroom, and now it's time to enjoy some Bojangles. Real healthy trip this time. We are heading out of Knoxville now. I've charged up to 92%, met some really nice people at this supercharger, and uh, heading off to Dave's house, 164 miles. Here we go.